A gang is a group of individuals who occupy a specific area and utilize it to engage in illicit activity to generate income, i.e. drug trafficking. Every major American city has a gang violence issue and gang membership is growing. More than 731,000 active gang members are part of at least 21,500 gangs, according to the Department of Justice. So in this video, we are going to discuss the top ways gangs make money. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Extortion The gangs threaten people with violence if they're not paid a specific sum of money to refrain from carrying out the threat using their reputation for ruthlessness. If the victim does not submit to the mafia's demands, they induce fear that something terrible will happen to them or to people close to them. The gangs also utilize blackmail as an extortion technique when they exert pressure on the victim by using some sort of leverage. Usury is a tactic employed by the mafia to extort favors and even money by making the victim feel obligated to them. Gambling Two notable events at now famous locations are related to the history of gangs. The first occurred in 1929 when organized crime members gathered in Atlantic City to discuss prohibition while pretending to be celebrating mobster Meyer Lansky's honeymoon. They talked about how the mafia could invest in casinos and nightclubs to make money after prohibition ended. According to the alternate account, Lansky and his right-hand man, Bugsy Seigel, saw the potential for a gambling mecca in the Las Vegas desert. The mafia and casinos are closely related in both real life and popular culture. It makes sense since regulators pay less attention than they might in other industries, the odds are set to favor the house, and organized crime has the clout to keep the occasionally unstable gambling industry running reasonably smoothly. Las Vegas became the multi-billion dollar tourist magnet it is today because of the gang's connections. But aside from the rare museum, themed restaurant, or run-in with a local, visitors aren't likely to find any mafia-related artifacts these days in Vegas. Officials in Europe are concerned about how the Mafia is using internet gambling to launder enormous sums of money, especially through sites domiciled in Germany, where there are no sanctions for illicit gaming. Additionally, authorities are looking into more than 300 people connected to an online gambling operation in Italy, where internet gambling increased during the COVID-19 pandemic. Waste Management Throughout the 20th century, the gangs controlled what is formally referred to as the sanitation industry. Even in 1993, when Houston-based sanitation business Browning Ferris tried to enter New York City, an executive's wife discovered a German shepherd's decapitated skull on her lawn. Welcome to New York was written on a letter that was in the animal's mouth. The mob is by no means out of the garbage business, even though New York has specifically addressed many of the issues previously connected to shady garbage transportation. A 2013 crackdown of the Genovese Gambino and Lucchesi criminal families show that garbage may still be a very shady business if arrests are any indication of popularity in a certain industry. Shell Companies and Property Property investing continues to be a favorite way for criminal organizations in the area to launder money. This is largely because there aren't many rules governing financial transactions in this industry, which also makes it possible for criminal organizations to shift substantial sums of money in a single transaction. Prosecutors said that the group now had a network of shell firms to launder money in one operation targeting the organization's financial operations in El Salvador. The shell corporations, which can include hotels, bars, restaurants, parking lots, and brothels, and which occasionally pass for real companies, are occasionally made from nothing. Howard Cotto, director of the El Salvador National Police, claims that they even return the investment and that the profits as if they were partners with the gang. Additionally, it's claimed that the gang meets at some of these facilities, such as motels, to plan murders or hide out. Drugs The drug trade is very important to gangs. They cover all aspects of drug production, distribution, and transportation. They participate in smuggling when the drugs need to cross borders. Young women are lured into prostitution by the mafia, and mafiosos serve as their pimps, taking a cut of the money the girls make. In return, they give the girls clients and compel tough clients to pay. For instance, the Draghetta is the driving force behind the unending supply of South American cocaine throughout Europe and Canada. The organization also provides cocaine to other mafia organizations throughout Italy. 
the Dragetis Syndicate, and American members of the Gambino and Bonanno crime organizations collaborated on a plan in 2014 to ship cocaine through New York City, concealed inside wholesale frozen fish, and then frozen pineapples. And thanks to the Eastern European Mafia and Moroccan hashish, marijuana trafficking in Spain has significantly increased. South American cocaine weighing 3,000 kilos or 6,600 pounds was found in a submarine in 2019 by drug enforcement authorities. The mob will be present in any industry where the profit may be gained. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.